my friend, I tell you, she's fickle as the tide. For a month, she dominated my evenings with breath so rare. Death in poetry most often does not exist. This is the rule I allow myself to break, as many laws were broken before. In relationships, laws do not exist. That is the rule I took too long to figure out. I woke up to noise this morning. Two men sitting in the vineyard under the sun. They were smoking a few cigarettes, looking out, silent. The dogs did not bark at them when they left. A rare thing, I tell you, my friend. We are still young, and we will be for a long time. Grief makes the art as apparent as sudden happiness. The long woman is finally asleep on the bed, and she will be for a long time. The sweat beautiful on her northern nakedness. Something unknown shines through the shutters. Memories of walking through the alleys all night by winter, down by the docks of Genoa, for cold and hunger, until each dawn, when I held the bowls of leek soup, the steam rising into my face. At the moment, I am desperately trying to break the code while there is still time. Clovis looks at things I would describe as sad and sighs peacefully. The universe looks at my actions and rewards me with a woman. I'm eating my last steak and I hope a paycheck comes through by the end of the week. Everything stands tall and reminds me of my father, but not her. She's like the Mediterranean Sea. Her skin never apologizes for being salty and tanned. In the small Italian cafe, imaginary people tell me about. Everyone comes inside from the July heat, talks quietly and drinks ordinary wine while gazing at everything that is possible and will be. Right, that's it for today, I'm afraid. Those were two texts brought to you by Leo, live from La Villa Senegalese in Nice, on a music composed by Rio Fukui, called Nobody Knows the Trouble I've Seen. Thank you for everything, thank you for listening, and to another time. Bye.